Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to decorate your Guitar Hero controllers using some off the shelf items that you'd find at the dollar store. So in this video, I'm going to be using this uh, peel and stick chalkboard. I got it for $2 and there's enough to do like three or four guitars. It gives you this really nice black matte finish and looks really cool. There are tons of other options available from like wood grain uh, decals to uh, silver or gold. Just look for them in the uh, home decoration and crafts aisle and they're usually just a couple of dollars like I said at the dollar store but I'm going to be using this peel and stick because I do like the uh, matte black look. So before we apply the decals what you want to do is to remove any uh, stickers or residue and you want to clean it so I use Goo Gone to do all that. So make sure you wipe out all the residue and all the dirt and then maybe use some alcohol to clean it off completely. Next you want to cut a piece of the decal that is roughly the size of your guitar. I have a Les Paul Guitar Hero controller and I can remove the faceplate to use it as a template for cutting out the shape. Next you want to apply the uh, sticker onto your faceplate. And the great thing about these is that you can uh, reposition them and you can lift it uh, lift it off if there is an air bubble but try to do it slowly and if you do get like a pocket of air underneath what you can do is um, just basically peel it off and then just reposition it. You want a piece that is bigger than the actual guitar itself because this way it will be easier to stick and any excess you can just uh, cut off. You want to make sure that the sticker is on uh, nice and good so uh, push uh, firmly down on it. Now you want to take an X-Acto knife and start cutting out the holes. I've already done a couple of them but I'll show you how I do it. Uh, you want to make sure the knife is uh, really sharp so get a new blade and since you're dealing with a knife you got to be very careful with this because it can cut you so go slow there's no need to rush and you just want to let the knife do the work. Shouldn't have to use too much force because if your blade is sharp, it should just glide over the plastic and cut it. So this is what the finished product looks like. You can now place it onto your uh, controller. The great thing about this peel and stick is that if you want to remove it, it'll just peel off without leaving any residue. So you can change up the color uh, pretty easily. Anyways, that's how you quickly uh, decorate your Guitar Hero guitar using some simple items you'd get at the dollar store. I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next video.